Hamilton knew that he needed to gain support from the South in order to be able to pass his economic plans. And one way that he could tempt the South to supporting his ideas was by moving the capital. Remember, our first capital city was actually New York City because of the fact that it was such a center for trade and manufacturing and kind of seen as the future of the United States. But the South always felt that keeping the capital of New York would benefit the northern states since it was centered more in manufacturing and trading and those and it was closer to the north that by keeping the capital there, then the government would always kind of be centered in the north and focusing more on northern needs and not southern needs. So the South always wanted to move the capital. So by Hamilton promising that the capital would be moved from New York was a way for him to win Southern support. And so a piece of land that was on the Potomac River between the states of Maryland and Virginia was chosen um, as the site for the new capital. So in 1790, the capital was temporarily moved to Philadelphia while the new capital city was being constructed. And in 1800, Washington, D.C. became the new capital of the, of the United States. Washington, in order of President Washington, and the D.C. stands for District of Columbia, which um, then is part of the fact that Columbia was another name that was for North America due to Columbus. And that's where our capital name comes from. So with Southern support, Hamilton is able to pass his economic plans and also create the National Bank. So Congress eventually took on states' debts as he wanted. They passed low tariffs to make people buy American goods instead of foreign goods. And they established the Bank of the United States in 1791. The bank was created with a 20-year charter that would have to be renewed. And the states had the right to start their own banks as well. And so now Hamilton was able to pass all of his endeavors and kind of start to move the country forward and trying to pay off their debts. 